you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God in the highest forever. Father God, we just thank you for your presence. We cry out more, Lord, more of you, less of us. Uh, we decrease so that you might increase in our lives. God, we're setting the stage for you. We're not about a performance mentality. God, we just want you. We want you, Lord. We want you, Lord. Jesus. Let's just turn our full focus. Let's turn our attention to the Lord. As we're waiting more and more, and more to get in here, we're, we're crying out for more and more of the Lord. More and more of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. God, you are worthy of all the praise, all of the honor, all of the glory is the Lord. Belong to the Lord, Yahweh, Subayo, the Lord of angel armies. Yahweh is his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no higher name than the name of Jesus. There is no higher name. There is no name greater than the name of Jesus. He is the name above all names. The name above every other name. He is the king. He is the king of kings. He reigns sovereign from on high. Thank you, Lord. The word of God tells us he is seated with the Father, and that's in the third heaven. And we're seated with him in the spirit realm. We are seated in high heavenly places with Christ Jesus, operating out of the same authority as he was given authority. All authority was given to him by the Father. He, in turn, gave it to his people. So, Father God, we thank you. God. It's not by our own works, Lord. It's not by our own righteousness, but it's by the righteousness of Christ in us. Father God, the free gift, not just salvation, but you've given us kingdom authority. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. God, we thank you that you're still at work. The hand of God is still at work. Father God, that you have sent us. You have sent us into the whole world to raise the dead, to cleanse the lepers, to heal the sick. Father God, not, not anything that we're physically capable of doing, but only you through us, Lord. God, that you, we're honored to be called your vessels. That through us, you can be known throughout the whole earth. That your presence can be made manifest, can be made known throughout the whole earth, even to the very ends of the earth. From age to age, he stands. From age to age, he reigns. He is the Ancient of Days. The God who was, He is the God who is, He is the God who is coming quickly, and He comes. Behold, hallelujah. I don't know about y'all, but I'm looking forward to my God's imminent return. As the world gets darker, as it gets more evil, Father God, you've told us to shine. Let our light shine brighter. Let it shine from a street pole. Let it shine. Nobody hides their light under a basket. God, we don't operate any kind of false humility here. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. God, that you have made us worthy. What you have blessed, no man can curse. No devil can curse what you have blessed. Because your anointing, your anointing destroys every yoke of bondage. Every yoke. Every yoke of bondage gone. Every chain, every shackle. Somebody needs to praise the Lord. Every chain is gone. I don't know about y'all, but I was in bondage. I was in chains. I was in fetters. I was in the stockades. I was a laughing stock. But my God, my God, my God, my God, he's the only one you can put your trust in. I don't put my trust in a man. I definitely don't put my trust in a man. I put my trust in the God. He is worthy of all my praise. All my trust is in him. All of my hope is in him. He is a firm foundation in whom I can place all of my trust because he will never fail. He is a God that will never fail. He is not a man that he should lie. I've been lied to by saints and sinners, but my God, my God cannot lie. He cannot lie. My God 
can do all things, but he cannot lie. He can do all things good. And lying, newsflash, is not good. Not good. There's no such thing as a white lie. There's no such thing. If my wife says, do I look good today, and I don't think she looks good, I'm going to just keep my mouth shut. I'm not going to give a white, I'm not going to lie to her. No flattering, amen. No false flattering tongues here. <laughs> Some might say, that's not wisdom. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Hallelujah. 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 God is so good, y'all. She's so good. She's so good. He is so good. I did yeah, I was thinking about Chrissy at that time, so he is so good. He is so good. God is so good. Praise the Lord. I had a fleeting thought of uh, maybe I should have said something different there. And I thought for a second of Chrissy, but I'm gonna focus back on the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, our focus is on you. <laughs> our focus is on you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad you called me out because I was like, did I say she? Thank you, Lord. God, we know. God, we know. Thank you, Lord. Uh, let's focus back on the Lord. Let's focus back on the Lord. Jesus, you are the King of kings. You are my God in whom I place all my trust. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's proof positive that I'm not perfect, but I serve a God that is. I serve a God that is. We're going to worship the Lord. We're going to hear a good word tonight. We're going to have a good Hallelujah. time in the Lord. Hallelujah. Had a good time in the Lord. We got to preach at Bible Fellowship this morning. Amen. Shout out to Bible Fellowship if any of you guys are watching. Let us know where you're watching from online. Let us know if you have any prayer requests. We'd love to partner with you in prayer. God, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. Thank you for being here with us. God, we repent of any misdeed. We repent of any miswording that just happened. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for saving us, for picking us up and dusting us off. Setting our feet on solid ground. Setting our feet on you. You know what I'm picturing? I had I was dancing with my daughter the other day and had her feet on my feet. We were dancing. You know, Jesus is the foundation. It's like he put our feet on his feet. And he says, do what I do. Say what I say. Move as I move. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to worship. We're going to praise. We're going to worship. We're going to let all else fade away as we just focus on Jesus. Y'all cool with that? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As your name is lifted up, Jesus, draw me. Everyone that needs to hear. Father God, I've seen some of the greatest moves. I've seen some of the greatest moves. All we need is two or more gathered in his name. Two or more. And he's there. Even when we don't feel his presence. Because we don't, we don't have to rely on our feelings. Now, don't get me wrong. I love when the Holy Spirit's moving and he's, and you get the chill bumps and all the stuff. That's super awesome. But you don't have to necessarily feel him 
to or sense him to know that he is there because my God is omnipresent. He's always there. He's always there. He's there when you were driving and that car narrowly missed you. He is there. He's there. He's there when when you met that homeless man on the side of the road. He's there. He's there. He's operating in you and through you when you're submitted, when you're surrendered to him. Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. Just be clear. We love him. Him. He. Him. <laughs> Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, great. It's on. We're going to start with the declaration song. This is very powerful. And I want you to think about your neighbors. I want you to think about the people you've been praying for for years and years. And as we sing this song, we're going to experience the chains breaking off those people. This is going to be really special. There's an army rising. There 
is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. about that co-worker that's bound. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Think about that family member who needs Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Yeah, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, shout Jesus from the mountains. Jesus in the streets. And Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. And Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. Jesus. Hey. 
we just take a second? Let's, everyone in here, if we could just stop what we're doing and just raise our hands. You don't have to, you don't have to touch the sky or anything, but just as a sign of surrender. Let's all stand and just raise our hands. I know there's such a peaceful presence that makes you want to sit. But let's let's just refocus on the Lord. All distractions gone. And let's just raise our hands and just start to speak to the Lord. God, I love you. Jesus. In your own words, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Let your love abound. Let your grace abound in this place. Father are on you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God's eyes are on you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Ever your King.
was unplanned, but I feel like all the kids, I want all the kids to join in, especially all the adults, all the kids. Jesus loves me. Can we do like a more instrumental version of that? That's, that was just on my spirit. Jesus loves me. There's a lot to those those little children's songs. Who was it that sang that? I want to go back. Who was that? Y'all know that. I want to go back. This little light of mine. Yeah. Y'all are gonna think of it as soon as I stop talking. Thought one of y'all would help me out. Thank you, Lord. Red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little chick. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, it's the faith of a child. Yes. We need, we really need to get this. It's the faith of a child. When we pray for our kids, they have a stomach ache. When we pray for them, they get insta healed. It's nothing we're doing. It's their faith. <laughs> they come to mommy and daddy, and they 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 know they're going to get prayer. They know they're going to be well. We're not we're not having that same level of faith. If we're honest, we could say, "Oh, we're mighty men and women of faith." When we we had a little healing line going today, and the word of, the word of the Lord went forth. And people were getting slain in the spirit, and all this, all this awesome stuff. Prophecy, healing was seen, but there's a deeper level. There's a deeper level, and we can't, we can't get complacent with where we're at, because there's always more of God. Amen. We have all of eternity to get to know Him. Yes. Amen. It, I think of the seraphim that are forever circling the throne room of God saying, Holy, holy, holy. With faces covered in awe and in reverence to the God that made them. And they're forever getting fresh revelation. They're forever... Seraphim means burning ones. Burning ones. We're going to do a couple more worship songs. And I just want y'all to know, all the, all the stuff that's on your mind from the week, the work week, kids, chores that are left undone at the house, we all have those. Let's, let's, we know that exists. We don't deny that. But let's, let's put that, let's shelve that for a second. Because we wouldn't even get to do chores. We wouldn't even have kids. We wouldn't even have air to breathe 
if it wasn't for this God that we're worshiping. Okay? So let's... We're not, we're not talking New Age stuff. We're not talking empty our minds. But let's just cast the cares at his feet. Okay? And let's worship God. And, I, and I'm preaching to myself. I, we all get those thoughts. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter if you're a preacher or a prophet or evangelist or apostle or pastor or whatever. It doesn't, none of that matters. Everybody gets those things. But what you, can't, you can't start hearing from God until you lay that stuff down. And you get still. And you get quiet. And you get in His presence. And then you start getting stuff. That's when God starts speaking to you and it's revelatory. And there's always new things He wants to reveal to His children. Can I get an amen? amen. There's always new stuff. Amen. So... As Brother Al is bringing a fresh word tonight, let's press in. Before we get that word from Brother Al, because I know that he's a man of God, but let's, let's get a word right now. Let's get a word during worship. We can get a word from the Lord directly. You know, it's great. I'm not saying we don't need men and women of God. I'm a preacher. I'm not telling you we don't need preachers. What I'm telling you is we can all hear from God. Let's, so let's press in, okay? Are y'all with me? Amen, amen. Let's press in. I'm going to pray this real quick, and then we're going to press in. Father God, help us to just get quiet before you. Father God, help us to, to hear. Your word says your sheep know your voice. Hear your voice, Lord. Help us to hear you. Right now, pray this with me. Right now, I cast everything at your feet, Lord. Right now, I cast, right now, I cast everything at your feet. Let all the distractions go. Let all the distractions go. I want to be focused on you. You are what this is all about, Lord. As much as I love my kids, it's not about them. As much as I love my wife, it's not about her. As much as I love life that God has given me, life and life more abundantly, it's not about that. It's about the one that it all stems from. It all stems from Him. Every good and perfect gift Hallelujah. comes from the Father above yes, of heavenly lights yes. in whom there is no variable. Yes. He can change his mind, but he won't change his nature or his ways. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Can we worship him? <laughs> we all worship him with me. We are here to worship the Lord. Yes, amen. We minister to him. Amen. We're going to sing Revelation song. If, you, if the words aren't on the screen, then just, I think most of you know this song. It's a beautiful picture of what heaven is like. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain.
refreshing glory glory before brother Al gets up here to preach to teach whatever the Lord has him do I felt like I was getting a word for him but I want to tell y'all a little bit about brother Al he's came and sp spoke with us a couple, once or twice before he's got such a huge heart huge heart Every once in a while, the Lord will put it on his heart to, we, we go to a Bible study together on Friday mornings with Mike Griner, who's, who's taught here a bunch of times. And I feel like there's been once or twice, well, I'll, I'll just put it like this. Every once in a while, the Lord will put it on his heart to get up and just go around praying for all the guys. He, and he doesn't do it to be seen, but there's, there's this anointing when he lays hands that I, I felt it like like it was like honey or something that goes all the way up and down. And it's, and, it, and it's a little bit of a healing touch. But what the Lord just revealed to me is that, you know how it says angels came to Jesus and strengthened him on several occasions? 
to Brother Al, I felt like that's what the Lord was saying. Like, you're, you have a touch that's that's not just like a, a regular, like, healing touch, but it's like a strengthening touch for people. And he has given you that anointing. And it's like strength to endure, to carry on. Because that's, it's the areas that the devil has attacked us most. It's like the opposite of that is like our part of our calling and gifting. And where the devil has attacked you the strongest is like your greatest asset in ministry. Wow, amen. Because you're empowering people to endure. You really and truly are. You don't you might not see it yourself, but you are. And I just saw as I went and I, I put my hand on you, I saw like the Lord giving you a new pair of like these like spiked mountain boots and you put them on and they had like nails in the bottom. And it was like, you're getting ready to start, like, not just going up the mountain of the Lord, but but bringing other people with you. The Lord's calling you to pioneer, especially in your own family, to pioneer. And there's, there's a couple things he's put on your heart to do, and I feel like the Lord's just giving you a big, big thumbs up going forward. So I just want to encourage you as you get ready to encourage us, because I know you're, it's going to be an encouraging word, whatever we need to hear. Amen? Amen. Y'all ready? Come on up, brother. Come on up. Y'all give it up for Brother Al. Amen. The title of what I want to speak on this afternoon is Change in the Twinkling of an Eye to hmm. Meet the Lord in the Air. Hmm. Once again, that's Change in the Twinkling of an Eye to Meet the Lord in the Air. Hmm. So let's read 1 Corinthians 15, chapter, starting at the 50th verse. I'll start reading. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. 
we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Mm. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, <coughs> at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised. Mm. Incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Hallelujah. Now let's go on to First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, from the sixteenth to the thirteenth. And reading that, he goes as follows. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up, together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Hallelujah. I read for you 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, the 50th to the 52nd verse. 1 Thessalonians, the 4th chapter, 16th to the 17th verse. Now, if I can expand for a moment, being changed in the twinkling of an eye to meet the Lord in the air is also known as a rapture. So I may refer to the rapture throughout the rest of this book. Right, in dealing with this subject, I want to discuss a, a few, few questions I want to answer. So when we are changing the twinkling of an eye, who is changed? Because everyone's not changed. Okay. I also want to address why are we changed? For what purpose? Mm. If you remember when we read 1 Corinthians, it says that this was a mystery. Yeah. Why is this a mystery at the time that Paul wrote Corinthians? Along with us, we are changed to the number. Right. What do we do while we wait for this change to happen? And the all important question that many like to debate, hopefully for purposes of edifying each other, <laughs> is when will the rapture happen? Mm -hmm. We don't know. Right. All day, all day. <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs>
in heaven. Mm. On the right hand of God's throne. Mm. Yeah. Hebrews 1 3. Mm. We must remember that Jesus has prepared a place for us in heaven. Where he will receive us into himself. Mm. John 14, chapter 1 through 3 verse. Which I think is worth reading. Let not your heart be troubled. You uh, believe in God, believe also in me. Mm. In my Father's house are many men. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Mm -hmm. That where I am, there you may be also. Yes. Hallelujah. Our bodies must be changed so that we can be where Jesus is. Mm -hmm. In the heavens. also another reason why we must be changed so we can be with Jesus in heaven. Jesus has other plans for us. He has a house to prepare a place for us. There's also a wedding feast. Yeah. Mm. Revelation 19 and 79 talks about the wedding. I think it's important that we can read that. Yes. Revelation 19 and 79 let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come. Mm -hmm. And his wife has made herself ready. Hallelujah. Thus we have put our faith in him. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Those who have placed their faith in Christ alone. And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. He said unto me, These are the true saints of God. We must be changed as we can live with Jesus Christ forever where he is mm -hmm. in heaven. He's got a place for us as well as a way. Mm -hmm. Now we must remind ourselves, Paul said this was a mystery. Mm -hmm. Behold, I'll show you a mystery, verse 51. What is the mystery? Why is it a mystery? It's a mystery because the Old Testament did not talk about this, this rapture taking place in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. The Old Testament, however, did give examples of people being changed in the twinkling of an eye. Mm -hmm. Well, they did not call it a rapture. They did say that it did happen. Two people come to my mind. The first one is Enoch in the book of Genesis 5.24. It reads as follows. Enoch walked with God. He was not for God took him. Mm. Just like that. Oh. Just like that. Remember Genesis is a book for beginnings. And with Revelation we'll have a new heaven and a new earth. Mm. The other example is Elijah. Elijah the prophet, who according to Second Kings two eleven, went up by a whirlwind into heaven. There in the fire. Gone. Twinkling of an eye. One day you're here, next day you're So it's a mystery because the Old Testament didn't talk about it. Now the Apostle Paul was talking about it to the church in Corinth. And we're feeling that it will happen in the twinkling of an eye. Now here we are today, May 19, and the rapture hasn't taken place yet. So now we have to make a decision what are we going to do while we wait? Mm -hmm. What is the best thing to do while we wait? What should we do while we wait? Reading now. Reading now is certainly great. There's some verses here I want to key us in on, so I'm going to get very specific. But we'll start with Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Matthew 28, 19 through 20. This is Jesus speaking in the red letter text. Matthew 20 and 19. Go ye therefore and teach all men. Hallelujah. Baptize the name of the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. That's certainly one thing we can do while we wait. What's another thing we can do while we wait?
Christ in there. Romans 12, 9. Now I'll summarize it. This is how I like to remember it. Love what God loves and hate what God hates. Mm. That's how we're going to do while we wait. Amen. Verse number 9 says, Let love be without dissimulation. Now for that which is evil, please that which is good. While we wait, love what God loves and hate what God hates. Just the same. So while we make disciples, Number two, love what God loves and hate what God hates. Now let's get down to the nuts and bolts of stuff that we can do. We go to the Old Testament for this, Jeremiah 29, 5 through 8. Jeremiah 29, 5 through is another example of what we can do while we wait for Christ to turn and get him in the air. Build ye houses and dwell in them. <laughs> Plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Mm. Take ye wives and beget sons and daughters. Mm. And take wives for your sons. And give your daughters to husbands. Amen. That they may <laughs> bear sons and daughters. <laughs> that ye may be increased in and not diminished. Oh, wow. Seek the peace of the city. Mm. That's gonna be a full time job. <laughs> 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 preaching. Whether I have caused you to be carried away captive, <laughs> and pray unto the Lord for it. <laughs> for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. Mm. But I also want to read verse eight there. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive. Mm. Right, amen. Neither hearken to your dreams, which ye call to be dreams. Mm. So while God certainly tells us what to do, He tells us what to guard against. Uh, wow, that's right. right. Amen. Uh, the way I take it, when you when He says, "Let not people be among you," right. discern them, identify them, mm. separate yourself. Yeah, right. So we'll put them out. Yeah, yeah. All right, and that, as we just discussed in verse thirty, that's for you. Now, it's amazing to me how it says in verse 7, and seek the peace of the city. I think verse 8 is giving us a path forward. Mm -hmm. Let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you. Mm -hmm. Neither hearken to your dreams, which you call to be dreams. I believe he's giving us a message through peace. Yeah. Identify who's among you, who you're spending your time with, who your kids spend your time with, time who's influenced. As we're learning right now, time mm -hmm. is not just in person, person. It's technology too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let it not be among you. Oh. Everything that everything and everyone that calls itself and himself or herself a Christian is not mm -hmm. in it for the name of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. And the last thing that I strongly urge to do while we wait. Matthew 25, 14 through 30. Known as the parable of the talents. I'll summarize it like this. Be a profitable servant mm -hmm. with what God has already given you. Yeah. Amen. What has He already given you? Amen. Be profitable with it. Or some might say, use it or lose it. It will be lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Notice in what I told you, God is not in the maintenance business. Mm -hmm. He's in the building business. Yes. He's in the building Amen. business. That's so while good. we wait, we build. Amen. Yeah. While we wait, we build. We multiply. It's given in the garden. Mm -hmm. Fruitful, multiply, figure out that's what we do while we wait. Oh, I know. So Occupy. We Occupy to the top. Now, lastly, I'll get to something that I thought about. When will the rapture happen? Hmm. Could it happen right now? Will yeah. there be a sign to get ready? <laughs> How many signs will there be? I have no other sign than that one. But I want to leave you all with this when I answer this question. I believe it's best to answer when the rapture will occur. When will we be changed in the twinkling of an eye to be thrown in the air? When will right. that happen? I believe it's best to answer by combining two scriptures into one. 
Second Corinthians 2 6 and Hebrews 3 8. Second Corinthians 2 6 and Hebrews 3 8. Now is the acceptable time. Today is the day of salvation. Do not harden your heart. Jesus Christ is calling. Yes. Amen. I'll read yes. that again. Now is the acceptable time. Amen. Today is the day of salvation. Do not harden your heart. Jesus Christ is calling. That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen, brother. That's all I have. I thank you all for your time. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise Amen. God, brother. Praise the Lord. We had a lot of people out tonight, too. I know Zach and Nadia might be hospital-bound any any second now with the baby, with the big old baby. Thank you, Lord. I had a lot of people out tonight. So thank you, Lord, for the word. Man, that's a, a, lot, of what, a lot of what the Lord is showing me about how <laughs> Danny's phone... Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. So we're going to receive communion. Thank you, Lord. Dad, can you give these out? I got some people out. I'm going to lead us in communion. You know, there's, I remember, I knew that things had gotten bad in the church when I, I think it was a few years ago, I saw, um, I think it was in Atlanta, I don't remember the name of the church, but it was, it was a psychic calling themselves a pastor, but, but, but they weren't even trying to say, like, they weren't even trying to hide it, they weren't saying like they were a prophet or anything like that, they were just psychic. The enemy is coming right out in the open now Amen. with his stuff. Oh. You know, when the Holy Spirit is on the scene, stuff gets exposed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord Amen. for exposure. As men and women of God, we should lead, lead such holy, pure lives in Christ that our lives should be like a glass house where anybody can see in, see out. Amen, it's kind of scary though at the same time. <laughs> but that's where the armor of God comes in. Amen? Amen, Amen? The enemy is now infiltrating churches. And these inner, uh, I preached to this morning, these inner type driven churches, these like seeker friendly type churches. It, during the Super Bowl, there was even a church that punted uh, the Bible across the stage and it had 30,000 people in there. I'm not against mega churches, but the Lord is showing me most churches that have those gigantic followings are seeker friendly. They, they're preaching a watered down version of the gospel. I don't want anybody to, I want people to tell me the truth. Amen? Amen? If I'm in error, call me out. If I'm, you know, anything, I, I'm i going to pray about it and take it to the Lord because I don't seek counsel from just anybody. But if it's a word from the Lord, I'll receive it from the, a five-year-old. Amen? Yeah. We should be that level of, of humble where if God wants to correct us about something, but these seeker-friendly churches, they just tell you what you want to hear. They don't tell you, they don't preach be the Holy Spirit, and then there's no conviction behind their words. And people don't like being corrected nowadays. It's, it's true. I think of Jesus. I've said this many times when we've received communion. What, did, what was one of the things Jesus said that made a lot of people leave? part with me. If you do not eat of me and partake of me, drink my blood. They thought he was talking about cannibalism. They were like, you're, this is crazy. They thought he was preaching against 
what it says not to do, what is it, in Leviticus? Don't drink the blood of any animal. <laughs> they're, they're, that upset the Jews. Y'all don't understand, like, they had laws they abided by. It, it sounds even weird to us, but it, it sound multiply that. That's how it sounded way weirder to their ears. They thought he was this blasphemer, and they had no idea that this was the God that made them made flesh. Made flesh. He says, if you do not, if you do not partake with him, you cannot partake with him. The only way to the Father is through the Son. Through what he did in the finished work of the cross. So go ahead and peel back the, the top layer. <laughs> There's layers on layers that God's trying to pull back on us. Amen. Oh, I don't want to show that. I don't want to show that part of me. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your body broken for us. God, we thank you for what you did. God, we don't take this as just some kind of religious ritual or routine. We take this in remembrance of you. Your body that was broken for us. Broken for me. Broken for you. Broken. He did it. I don't have any friends that would do that for me. For you. He did it for you. Take the bread in remembrance. Just take a second. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the same manner, let's go ahead and peel back the next layer. It's okay to pull back the layers. God sees it all anyway. Just take a second and remember his blood. When the spear pierced his side... He had so much blood that was already poured out that it was just the water, the fluid, that just it just looked like pure water from like the lungs and everything else. But he would he was already bled out. From what they did, you could see his, his skin hanging off of him, his, his ribs exposed. They beat him. They bruised him. Not just, yes, for our spiritual healing, but not just for that. My Bible never lies. It says when the elders lay hands. Hallelujah. Who's an elder? If you're in Christ and he's in you, you're an elder. You're a saint even. There's no magical powers in us. Magic is, is the separation of God. It's, it's, it's minus God. Take God out of the mix and then you get magic. This is I'm talking about the God that can set everything right. The God that can heal and still is healing. Yes. Jehovah Rapha, our healer, yes, is in you because of what he did. On the cross, he restored us, healed us, sent us in right standing to the Father. Hallelujah. And healing is ours. We're not gonna we're not gonna have to crawl into heaven. We're gonna be he's gonna rapture out a glorious bride. <laughs> glorious. That doesn't mean we're just going to, we're, we're going to, yes, we're going to be changed when we see him, but it says without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. We're going to, we can, healing is now. And yes, on the other side, when we get our perfect bodies, when we get our resurrected bodies, all of this is true. 
God, we receive you. We receive the healer. We receive your healing touch. We receive your blood that washes away all of our sins. Partake of the cup. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. One more little song, whatever the Lord puts on your heart, Leah.
dismissed. Go with, go with his presence.